As you can see, beautiful morning. My nipples, like rockets. <coughs> so, woke up, saw the amazing sunrise and thought, nah, getting the drone out. Completely forgot to put clothes on. Bad idea. Oh. Boom, sorted myself out, looking good now. Hair's all done, had a shower and that. Just finished up editing this new commercial that I shot last week that will be up on the channel actually obviously when you're doing commercials when you're doing commercials commercials when you're doing commercials for people usually you're looking at like 90 seconds minute and a half type thing and then for social media obviously you have to cut down like a minute edit it really does my editing when you get like a really nice flowing piece that flows and the pace is perfect for a piece that's 90 seconds a minute and a half but then you have to cut it down to a minute and you have to cut out some really nice like detailed shots that help the story pace nicely but what can you do instagram ain't changing nothing at the moment so yeah we just got to deal with what we got haven't we decent i actually reckon some of the shots in this commercial that i just shot are probably some of the best shots i've ever done like there's one or two shots where i'm like oh bruv naughty then I've got to send off a couple of the Create bits, a couple of vinyls and a couple of t-shirts. So they've got to go. Um, but yeah, I might be, cool, sorry about that. I might be meeting up with my mate Reese. We might be going and grabbing a coffee to talk a couple of business things, a couple of YouTube things as well, actually. And then at 12.30, I've got a bloody phone call meeting with one of my clients that I shot with about two weeks ago because we're doing another shoot in two weeks. So yeah, I might actually chuck you on that phone call for like, 10 or 15 seconds to listen to some of the stuff that we talk about when I'm on the phone to a client talking about a project, things like that. Um, but yeah, sorry about this Dutch angle. It's not ideal, is it? Oh yeah, a massive shout out to my sister for sorting me out with these uh, naughty little North Face slippers. There's a discount code in there. Dis no, no, there's no discount code. Yo, sorry about that. Completely forgot to put you in on the phone call with the client. Nothing interesting was said anyway, so not a problem. Just stuff about green screens and all that for a shoot next week. I'm gonna quickly pop into town. Look, I ripped me bloody douchebag. What a nightmare. Um, so yeah, oh, who's that naughty geezer there? Yeah, so I'm gonna pop into town and do a bit of work there. I do like a bit of coffee shop hopping when I can't be asked to do any more work or editing at home. I'll pop out, go to coffee shops, work there. Yeah, just a nice little change of scenery in that, so sick. Right, completely thought my camera was broke then. Just almost had like a mini breakdown. My camera was recording for like five seconds and then just stopped recording automatically, but I think I've sorted it now. To be fair, my Sony is playing up a little bit. I've had it for like just a little bit over a year and it is playing up a little bit. Like every time I turn it on, it takes ages to start up. It's like a bloody computer. It's like one of their Microsoft things back in the day, like 1995, like not ideal, mate. But yeah, we're still recording, so that's good. Be a smart lad like me. Park your car down at the gym, then walk into town so you don't have to pay a fiver for parking. Then you just go straight to the gym. Legend.
People always ask me, how do you stay so grounded? Bruh. But you have to force that. If you just say, I'm going to make an effort to build it, that's generally not going to be enough. But if you've pre-committed to yourself and you bought plane tickets, now you have accountability. Uh, and Unbelievable. That's very, very, I've seen it be very helpful for entrepreneurs who want to scale, but not to do so by bleeding out their eyeballs. I've only got and got myself a bloody green screen, and I, yeah, decent. We can go Morocco, Madrid, Amsterdam, Dubai, Thailand. I can go anywhere I want now, isn't it? <laughs> Sick. Sick. No, on a serious note though, um, this company asked me if I could do a green screen video for them. Never done it in my life, and I went, yeah, of course I can. Done it a million times. I obviously worked out how to do it, ain't hard. Um, but yeah, man, this should be quite fun. Oh, come at me. Right, so as you can see, I'm currently editing this vlog that you're watching now. And I've just realised that the segment that was meant to come after this, I can't find. I've lost the clip. Gone through all of these. So, I'm going to have to tell you what happened in this part of the vlog. So, I just packed up the green screen and all that after having a bit of fun with it. Then, I packed up all of my camera gear because I am go. I was going on a shoot. I packed up all my camera gear. I explained what camera gear I had with me. Obviously, I had the A7S, the 10 to 18, 50mm, the gimbal, right, loads of other random stuff. So anyway, that's what you were meant to see then. I was literally about to go on a three hour journey up to Stoke, lovely place, to then stay in a hotel because I had a shoot up there the following day. So I've just driven three hours up north to Stoke, just arrived at my hotel, and that is right now. Here we are, three and a half hours later. Chee! Anyway. They've given me a room big enough to have a party, mate. Where are you lot? You lot should be here, man. I keep uh, being quite unlucky and getting really like old style hotels recently when I go on shoots, but can't complain. Sometimes they're pretty funky and cool. Color scheme's all right. That's about it. You lot, so. <clears throat> right. I'm sorry this vlog, this vlog has just been like Bits and pieces of loads of random stuff, man. The bath scene, the green screen, and now this gaff. So I thought I'd end off really quickly, like, talking about a subject that <clears throat> some people worry about. And I used to worry about this subject quite a lot, but I don't know more because I kind of got it in my head now. So you go on a trip, say like this trip, and I've only gone like three hours north. But say you go like on a big international trip. And you're thinking, shit, have I forgotten anything? Because sometimes you'll go to a shoot. This used to happen to me. It doesn't really anymore because I kind of know what I need. And I do this kind of ritual. I used to forget like certain little things like batteries, chargers. Just like little bits and bobs that you don't think about too much when you're packing. I'm going to tell you kind of like how I plan to pack my gear to come on a shoot like this. So let me go from the top. So say for example tomorrow... I've got a green screen set up and then I've got a set up where I'm going to need a gimbal to get some b-roll around an office and like a warehouse. I have to think about them setups to understand what gear I'm going to need. So the green screen setup, I know I'm going to need the green screen. To make sure the green screen stands up properly, I'm going to need the stands. To have the stands, I'm going to need sandbags to weigh down the stands. I'm also going to need clips to make sure that the green screen clips to the top of the stands. Do you get where I'm going with this? Next thing I know, I need a camera to film it, of course. So I need a camera. To make the camera work, I know I need batteries. The batteries need to be charged to allow the camera to work. I also need a memory card to make sure that I can record the footage I'm shooting with that camera. I need a lens on that camera. Yeah? I also need to record sound. So to record the sound, I'm going to need a microphone. I'm going to need the boom stand. I'm going to need the auxiliary cable going right into the camera. Have I got all of them? Yes, I have, because I just listed them off. So if you understand what you need, you can then reel off a list that you need to make that setup work. So for example, the gimbal setup I've got later on in the day in the warehouse, I need the camera. 
obviously what makes the camera work, the batteries, the memory cards, yeah? I'm also going to need a gimbal at this point, so I'm going to need my crane. I'm also going to need the batteries to make the crane work. Yeah, does that kind of make sense? Sorry that was a little bit like loose endy, but the way I do it is I understand the setups that I need and then I decide what I need to make that setup work. And then I have to understand what I need to make each individual component work. So that allows me not to forget any batteries, any microphones, any cables. There I know exactly what I need to bring. So yeah. If any of you are wondering how to not to forget gear, that's it. That is literally it. Oh, I look like a right chav, but not bothered. I'm going to watch a uh, Joe Rogan podcast now and uh, get ready for tomorrow. So people, thank you so much for watching my videos. I can't tell you how much it means to me. We just did 9K as well. Are you mad? Because I'm feeling pretty mad. Um, yeah, you lot are the best. And I'll catch you lot in that next bloody video, mate. Sick. Hey.